Are you thinking about your team? All right, guys, you know the drill. Hit the like button, hit subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get notifications of the new amazing content that's gonna be coming soon. So the topic's easy today. You know, I wanted to kind of just give my thoughts on this. Are you thinking about your team? And really what's drove that, I've done so much thinking about my team that you know I don't have any hair left, but you know, the topic I had the other day was are you, you know, thinking about your retirement? And now my thought is that I really want to go over is I think a lot of people are thinking about themselves, but what about your team? You know, that's a lot of the purpose of, of everything I've done, a lot of the reasons why we have the business we have, the way it's been growing, the way we've structured it is my probably biggest focus is the team first. Now, it might not always seem like that to people because there's a million different things I focus on to try to little little pieces to push the whole picture forward. But as I'm thinking about all this, I'm looking at what can we do to better the team? What can we do to better this for everybody? You know, how can we get an office team involved so now they can help make it easier on the guys out in the field and we can scale faster and I can I can do more and I can I can try to make things better for everyone as a whole faster. And the better and the quicker we can do that, the faster we can become more and more profitable because now I'm able to to focus on the things that are are going to drive profitability. You know, this year has been a massive, massive thing of growth. Um, we're going to probably finish the year out. I don't know, one one point three million or something like that. And so we've added added like four hundred thousand dollars in sales. And and you know, this is all came really really quick. And our profitability has been about the same as always. You know, hovering somewhere in that seven to ten percent range. And it's something that like. I'll get berated and hit with people saying, "Oh my gosh, that's that's not much. You're not you're not making any money." Da, 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 da. But, okay, first of all, it's after I paid myself a more than reasonable salary. I mean, more than more than the industry average. That is actual net that I'm talking about. And but with that being said, you know, I hear a lot of people talking about they grew their business really big. It got really big, and it cost a lot of money to run, and they weren't being that profitable. And I mean, it's true. As you grow, there's going to be things that are super expensive. This year, for instance, I've got a full office staff. I mean, there's four ladies in the office besides me. If I look at that on the payroll, that that alone would add another 7% if I didn't have that. 8% back to everything. But everything I'm doing is with a long-term goal of growing this company and making it be able to handle the scalability of what's to come, the 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 down the road picture of what's to come that is a company doing the majority of work in my town and doing it at a very profitable rate with the highest paid guys with the most benefits and the best crew and that's that's what we're building. That's that's what I'm shooting for. So I got to see this whole year operate where we, we grew a lot and our profits stayed about the same as it's always been when we've been growing like crazy. And now I'm looking back at last year and I'm seeing the things I want to change because the next year's goal, like I'm, I'm goal focused. I want to grow, we grow. I want to sell more stuff, we sell more stuff. It's like I need targets and then I hit the targets. That's how I work. And next year's target is 20% profitability, net profit after everybody's paid to help put even more back into the guys. You know, this all started off with this conversation. Are you thinking about yourself? Are you just thinking about yourself? Are you thinking about the team? How, how are you thinking about the team? And, you know, after obviously you should be thinking about your own retirement, like I mentioned in the last video, but now this is, this is my thought process on how I'm thinking about the team. All these things I've talked about, the growth, how we've added the office to take care of the customers so we can grow faster, really is all in all to work on becoming a large company with a management team where we are operating very profitably and we are able to give our team the the most you know all of our foremen get uh in health insurance we we have a group plan for all of our foremen and we make contributions to that health insurance plan um 
we're, we're wanting to add more benefits because we want to make this the best job there is in town in our industry. I mean, we're going to. And in all of these things, it takes this whole big machine where we can focus on all these things and, and get these guys like, I want to figure out how to make retirements for people. You know, not everybody's going to be focusing on retiring. There's going to be a lot of people that are just here and they're just working. But, you know, this growth isn't, there's so many plans for this. Another plan is I want to make sure that no one comes in here and ever has to stay stagnant. So if it is just me running around with like five guys doing work, that's fine. That's a great business. But for me, what bothers me is I'm probably going to be the king of the castle all the time and there's never going to be much. These guys can only go so high. I want other guys and, and women to be able to come become management, come in this company and get a high paying job that you know they can make a really amazing career out of. And then a lot of foremen to get high paying job that they can make a career out of. And then a lot of crew leads that look up and aspire to go up the chain with everybody else and get to a place where they've got a career where it's long term. So that's how I'm thinking about the team. That's what I think about 24/7, whether people see it or not. You know, when it's when it's working on the company analysis, when it's when it's writing my goals down every day. You know that I'm an empathetic leader, and uh, you know I give my employees every chance to succeed. That's something I write down. I write down every day because. I want to focus on how to do these things, how to make these things better for people, how to make careers for people. And, and it can be hard to see sometimes from the outside looking in because it might be as simple as something I'm trying to better in the business that I know is going to help everything that's going to help the whole that makes us be able to do more. So this whole talk is really about are you thinking about your team? Are you putting your team first? Or whether or not it's showing to everyone around you, are you trying to come up with ways to promote, to make people earn more, to give people careers, to figure out a retirement for your team. I mean, I've talked about, oh, we're going to start up some kind of contribution, 401k or Roth IRA, something. I'm not a big fan of any of them, um, but you know, as a way to get people to start storing money for their retirement, to help everybody around us so we can really just push this team through the roof and we can give opportunities, like I said, give give everybody around me every opportunity to succeed. Anything I know, I want to share with you. Um, I'm not in this to, it's not just for me, it's for everybody. You know, I. it's for my family. It's for friends. I want to be better because of what we're doing for, for employees. Employees that I, I'm hoping someday, you know, if they're not yet, that I'm going to have more employees that are just like family to me. You know, I mean, <sighs> Building a business is an awesome thing. There's so much opportunity. There's so many things to do out there. There's so many different tactics and techniques. And Don't ever be afraid of, of people saying you can't build something because of all their theories and what they believe. You know, Someone else saying they can't build something, that just means they couldn't. Know that if you're watching this, I'm going to wrap this up with, I guess, just a little bit of inspiration. Know that if you're watching this, that everything's possible. There's going to be probably a lot of beating your head off the wall and a lot of learning. And without an amazing team and without amazing people, without showing them that you care and trying to do everything you you bleeping can to try to show them you care and you're trying to make it better, you're nothing. You know, you're nothing without a team. I'm nothing without my team and I, I love and appreciate every single one of them. That's why every little thing from the Christmas party to the, the benefits to the, the things we want to make better to the, the surprises to the bonuses, to the monthly biggest badass, you know. Build an awesome team, build an awesome company, build an awesome life. Everybody, it was awesome making this video. This was, this was a random one where I just had thoughts and I wanted to kind of throw them out there. I hope you guys enjoy this. Let me know what you're doing to take care of your team, to build for your team, to build for 2020, to make your company the best it has ever been and push into making it the best in the future it ever will be or could be or beyond anybody's belief, maybe even yourself. There's a lot of people, they don't even realize what they're capable of. <sighs> With all that being said, follow me on Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, TikTok, and of course, my favorite platform, YouTube. It was a real pleasure talking to everybody. See ya.